What drove me toward art basically with materials that I'd use as a younger child, crayons and paints, and it was very playful. And it also felt very personal. And while other of my siblings were doing other things, this is where I found my, my solace, so to speak. From that, I just continued to take art classes in school. And this is where I belong. This is what I feel, feel very good about. I feel it's, it's about me, it's about my world. So I followed my passion, so to speak. Some of the inspirations that I've been able to connect with over the time in making, in art making, have certainly been different artists and different um, art friends that I've met during my life. And I feel that I'm very fortunate to have uh, spent time in a world such as the art world today. Even though it is competitive and even though there's a market, so on and so forth, the opportunity that Carter Burton gives me is, is the opportunity to share the work, the opportunity to hear from other people, and the opportunity to also see other people's work and realize that we have a lot in common. There really is community there, and there really is the spirit and the passion to make good art, continue to make art, um, in a way not even being worried about the marketability of, this, of your work, but the fact that you're making it, that, that is um, what your life is about. That's what my life is about. I think for the future of making my art is to experiment and to feel free about what I want to conceive, what I want to actualize in terms of making statements. I don't feel my work is abstract, but there's a lot of abstract that comes out of Carter Burton that has uh, also sensitized me to become more concerned about, more curious about abstract. And so in that, like, I've been really able to grow and learn an awful lot by being in that community at, at Carter Burton. In terms of having a favorite collection of mine, I'd say it probably is Little Women. This is Peggy Sue, one of my little women from this past year. Little Women came out of actually the necessity to change the scale that I was working in. To have it, you know, space, time, and money really has an effect for a New York artist. Little women, because of the nature of them being women, I'm a woman, I'm a gay artist, um, I am interested in the political and social issues that we face today, but the Little Women series goes to issues that do talk about our, our place, women's place in today's society. Uh, a piece called Pivotal Moment, which reflects uh, the past election and uh, talks about the times that um, I feel that we're engaged in right now in terms of how perilous times are. I feel very fortunate to be involved with Carter Burton Gallery. I'm so happy, so blessed to be there with, with the artists that I've met and I, I hope to meet more of the artists.